Hello, isn't working with native libraries painful from Java? In this quick screencast, we're going to set up a Java application and we're going to generate a native library infrastructure from it. And we're going to debug from Java into that native library. So here we have some Java code. We declare private native void and the name of a method that we are going to implement in our native library. Next, let's call that method from our static void main. Here we're doing that. And because we have the private native void there, we can right click on our Java class after compiling it. And simply because we have the native modifier, when we right click on our Java class, we can generate a JNI library project from our Java code. We give it a name, we click finish, and a C++ library is created. This library structure contains a header file generated from our Java code and also a source file. So we'll just add a quick print statement in here. Next, we build our native library. Here you see it. I'm on Ubuntu, so you get the Ubuntu or you get the Linux extension here. If I was on Windows, I would have a DLL file. In the properties window of the Java project, I can see that Java library path has been created for me, pointing to the folder where that native library is found. Now we can use the system load library call in Java to refer to our native library. Everything is in place and notice all that we had to do was provide code, our business logic, everything else had been done for us and we can see our message from our native library. The entire infrastructure and the links between them via Java library path were created for us. Now we're going to create slightly more interesting code, including a loop. We're going to loop through 10 iterations and for each of them we're going to print out our greeting. And also for each iteration, we will print out a message from Java. But the point is here that we're going to debug from our Java code into our native library. We start the debug session. We step over the expression, and now we step into our native code. The GDB debugger, the native debugger, starts up. And now we can hover with our mouse over the variables, and we can see the related values. We can also see the stack trace here. We can see the threads, and we can explore those and see the values and the variables that you can find there. You can see we have two different debug sessions. We can continue. And once we do that, we end up in our native code. And in our native code, here it is really useful to hover over the variables and to see the values and to see the related functions and the stack as we are doing now. In short, NetBeans allows you to do mixed debugging between Java code and native C code and native C++ code. You can create native libraries on Windows and on Linux-based systems. And on Linux systems, you can also debug directly into the code as we are doing right now in this screencast.